Okay, so once uh, the school ICT coordinator already has the credentials for the school admin account of the school, pwede na niya ma-access ang mystock.microsoft.com. Now, sa mystock.microsoft.com, diri na to ma-access ang tanan nga account sa ato mga learners within the school. Now, we will be using the account of Padre Borgos MTDHS. Now, since we are using the temporary password, we are asked to create a permanent password. Okay, so atong in next. Then we will skip set up. You may Click yes. Now, as you can see, ang ato makita ng school is ang Padre Borgos National Te Technical Vocational High School and ang tanang learners kada adere. So, tiring a list na to makuha ang mga uh, learner accounts within our school. So, for the NLC, we will be getting the accounts of the grade 7 and the grade 8 learners. So, ato ni si Jang, for a specific, pwede tamo search. And then, ato na makuha ang account. So, we can start resetting the accounts of the learners. Again, we will get the accounts of all the grade 7 and the grade the accounts of all the grade 7 and the grade 8 learners. So since wa pa man disseminate ng mga accounts, atong i-reset kaya wa pa man day password ani nga mga accounts. So we will click reset, reset password. Then we are given a temporary password. Now take note nga, temporary password. So atong ning i-take note uh, para atong ihatag sa mga learners para ma-access na nila ang atong LMS. Okay, so once the learners already have their Microsoft 0365 accounts, we may start to access the LMS. So ang atong LMS is r8.lms.deped.gov.ph. So we will log in using a uh, DepEd Microsoft account. So, mo itong i-click. Okay, so, usually, ang um, accounts learner is ang lrn at r8.deped.gov.ph. Now, we will use the temporary password na itong nakuha during sa, the learners will use the temporary password that was uh, generated pag reset sa password. Then, we are asked to create a permanent password. Now, sa permanent password, always kinahanglan nga na ay usa ka uppercase, usa ka lowercase, numbers, and more than six characters. Okay, so, atong i-accept. Okay, para ni sa maka-link ang atong Microsoft accounts LMS. Now, once you are logged into the LMS, the first thing that we need to do is we need to update the demographics. So we will choose Southern Leyte. Then atong ibutang ang school name. Example, Sugod National High School. And the school ID. And we will put the learner reference number. And we will click update profile. Now, pwede ninyo i-verify. Mga rita sa profile, makita na ito nga nanay detail ang school division office, school name, of school ID. So, we will log out. Now, kinahanglan nga tanang learner accounts malag in sa LMS o ma-update ang demographics. Kaya mo na need during, before mag-bulk upload ang division office in preparation for the computer-based assessment.
So it is important to take note nga mag-list ang school ICT coordinator sa tanang grade 7 and grade 8 learner Microsoft O365 account. 